size, you're gonna need two mixing bowls. Um, you're gonna need 40 volume developer for this as well. We wanted to get it um, lightest, lighter, quicker. You're gonna need a whisk. And please describe the door color over there. That's for the next hair that we're gonna do. You're gonna need four bottle, four boxes of Tanzanite color. It's from Color Brilliance. This color is really, really thick. Um, and you do not mix anything in it. And you're also gonna need a, a box of sapphire to create the little lights within the hair. Um, but like I said, this color is really, really thick. So just be aware of that before you start actually working with it. Hey guys, so what we're doing now, um, basically we are making the bleaching solution to bleach our hair. We added one scoop of the BW2 powder in each of those bowls. And then we kind of eyed out um, the amount of 40 volume developer um, what's going to happen as we bleach the bundles though, we're going to have to keep uh, mixing a little bit more um, because there are three bundles and the frontal to actually bleach. Um, so yeah, it, it took a little bit more than what we initially thought. Um, but now my sister is basically just whisking the, the solution up until it gets to a smooth consistency. And then we're going to go ahead and get started to apply, apply it to the bundles. So guys, what we're doing now is we're gonna start applying the bleach to the hair. Um, it's a pretty simple process. I know many of y'all probably already seen this many times on videos. So basically you start from the bottom, you work your way up. We decided to keep the hair um, actually um, contained in the same, uh, basically we decided to keep the hair wrapped up in the bundles as they were when we, they arrived to us. Um, because we just felt it was easier to work with it like that compared to unraveling it and then just, it's, it's just a lot more work that way. So basically just make sure you get the front part, um, then we're gonna turn it over and make sure we get the back as well. Um, you're gonna also make sure that as you're applying the bleach, you're going within the bundles to make sure you don't have any dark areas because if you have dark areas um, within this hair, you're really gonna be able to tell, especially once you apply the color to it. Um, so you want to just make sure everything is even, as even as you can get it, um, you know. And usually the color will help to hide any flaws that you may have um, done as you were bleaching the hair as well. But just try to make sure you don't have any. See like that dark spot right there? That's what we're doing. We're going back in and just making sure that we saturate every strand of hair in these bundles. So just make sure you do that and your hair will turn out great. So now we are bleaching the frontal. Um, you can see that we are just brushing, well combing the, the bleach through the hair to make sure we get every strand coated evenly. We also decided to leave the roots dark um, because I just like dark rooting on my units. Um, that's just a personal preference. If you feel like you wanna go all the way up, that's, you can do that. Um, but I just like dark rooting myself. So what I'm doing now um, is washing the bleach out of the hair. We let the bleach sit on the hair for about 30, 30 to 35 minutes. It did not take long at all because um, the color was coming out very, very quickly. Um, so what I'm basically doing now is washing it with a neutralizing solution, neutralizing um, shampoo. Um, and I'm just gonna go through all of the bundles with this and the frontal. Just make sure you have all the suds out once you're done. And then you're gonna allow this hair to dry. And so here's my nephew helping out. Um, this little boy loves to help with anything you need. Like, you can tell this, he wants to mow grass, he wants to pick up trash, he wants to help you fix on cars and stuff. He wants to help you do basically anything. I love my nephew and I'm glad he helped us because we had a lot of hair to dye that night. So what you see now is basically um, we separated strands of hair to create low lights within the tanzanite color. So the tanzanite color is gonna be on the left. That's the bluish dark blue purple looking side and then the sapphire color is going to be the lighter blue side um and we're just making sure we apply the color evenly to all the strands so now we are um starting to construct the wig we let the hair dry um uh, we actually blow dried the hair afterwards so it was a fairly quick process um so my sister is helping me construct the wig she usually helps me because i'm not that great at it but what we did do with this unit, um, we pulled the frontal a little bit forward. So it's about an inch to two inches in front of where the cap starts. Um, so it, it actually fit it actually fit my head a lot better. And don't laugh at my little taped up mannequin head because, you know, I just got a canvas block head today. So 
I don't have to use this one no more, but I probably still will use it because it every time I use this thing, even though as raggedy as it looks over there and lumpy, it fits my head perfectly. So yeah, that's a great this this head has got me through some times. Um so yeah, so we're basically just sewing on the frontal right now. Um and you can kind of see like the purples and the blues within this hair right now. But once this hair is completely done and it's dry, this hair is so beautiful. And I can't wait for y'all to see it. So we now are working on constructing the wig. And I also forgot to mention that for this bundle that we're sewing on right now, we actually ran out of sapphire for the longest bundle. So it did not get any low lights in it. But all of the remaining bundles did get low lights. So you can't even really tell, honestly. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through the construction of the wig. So now we are just closing up the front, well, closing up the unit all together. It only took us about an hour and 30 minutes to do this, and she did this like super early in the morning, like 7 o'clock in the morning. My sister is a trooper. Um, so yeah, it was a fairly simple process, and we're basically done. Hopefully you get some inspiration to do something a little bit out of your box and something that you really never really expected yourself to wear because you would ask me a million years ago like you know it just you would ask me would I be wearing some purple and blue hair I'm like nah I'm not about that life but this hair is gorgeous y'all this hair is so gorgeous and I can't wait to insert some shots of me actually in the daylight so I'm gonna do that tomorrow probably I'm gonna just go to sleep and this I ain't gotta take it on off. But I'm going to start some clips of it in the daylight so you can actually see what this hair looks like. Because this hair is phenomenal. Um, and what I especially love about this hair and the outcome of the color is that the curl pattern did not change at all. The curl pattern is still there. Everything looks the same. Nothing is loosened. You know, it's just been great. It's just been great. So if you want to go, like I said, if you want to go see the next part of this video, go ahead and Go to the next video, um, and if not, I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.